this name kept coming up. Who is this guy that I keep hearing about? He wasn't there, but he was right there. The record business, Hollywood, civil rights, anything that had to do with the rights of people. That told you everything you needed to know about him. He's a fearless man, absolutely fearless. We needed to know him because he was the gatekeeper. He knew everyone, everybody. Oh man, he was too fly. One day after another, he became a powerhouse. There's the power that needs the spotlight, but there's also the power behind the scenes. The guy's a rock in every way. Agent, manager, orchestrator. This mysterious figure everybody respected. You only find one of those people. I'm like, how is this guy doing it? Sometimes I say to myself, how in the f did I get involved in all this? I don't let nothing get in my way about anything that I want to do. Clarence was an African-American man in Hollywood, defying what Hollywood was supposed to be. Black people are going to move forward. No matter what business he was in, he never wavered from his purpose. Seeing that things were fair. He said, would you like any help putting MCA into the black music business? I said, yes. He says, well, that's good, because I'm going to tell you what to do anyway. I would hear about people that were in very serious situations when it came to life. And they would say, the only person that can help you with this is Clarence Avon. Clarence is the bridge from a time where there was no opportunity to a time where doors began to open. My brother! He understands the bigger that we are together, the bigger we will be as a culture. He told me, uh, Henry Aaron would not be Henry Aaron if not for Clarence Avon. That I ought not to let you just walk on me. The message that I received from Clarence was just think about those kids that's looking up to me. If it feels it's good getting used, just keep on. The person that's responsible for your transition, that's the key to changing your life. Until you use me up. He became that mentor for us all became that godfather. And to you, me, uh... Remember the first time someone ever said, you're the godfather? Well, people call me that. People can call me anything. People have called me a son of a bitch, so what? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>